Welcome to an overview video of NextWorld's Cloud Financial Management Solution. This video highlights the features and functionality of NextWorld's financial product. The first topic we'll be covering today is the setup. NextWorld's financial setup is easy to follow and flexible to accommodate any changes your organization may face. Let's jump over to the general accounting setup application in NextWorld. In this application, you will find everything you need to set up before posting financial transactions. You can access everything with a single click, and the top bar is a good guide to ensure that nothing is missed. While the initial setup of data is important, the data stored in these apps can be updated at any time without affecting historical transactions. So let's dive deeper into a few of these applications. The first application I'd like to highlight is the company structure. At implementation, the company structure can be imported via a CSV file or manually entered. As your business evolves over time, NextWorld can easily handle reorganization or restructuring through manual additions of org units through these create buttons, moving org units to inactive if you no longer want to post to them, and by updating any org unit details that may need updating. The relationships between org units, which is visually depicted in this tree, are used in consolidated reporting. Any transactions at these lower levels can be reported on at their parent levels. Moving on to the chart of accounts. In NextWorld, you can share one chart of accounts across multiple companies to reduce the amount of GL accounts that you need to manage, or you can set up multiple chart of accounts to reflect your business needs. The chart of account functions very similarly to the company structure. Accounts can be imported in from a CSV file or manually entered. And at any time, you can add new accounts by clicking on these create buttons. You can edit existing accounts. You can inactivate accounts. And you can even drag and drop accounts to change its level. The chart of accounts hierarchy is used to report on a consolidated basis, and there can be up to nine levels of detail. Along with moving accounts to an inactive state, you can use NextWorld's workflow to add an approval step when creating new accounts, and we'll explore this functionality more in depth later on in this video. The last application we'll cover today is the fiscal calendars. Once you create a fiscal calendar template that specifies things like your start and end month and the accounting cycle, NextWorld can automatically generate your fiscal calendars. For all of the ledgers tied to the specified company. All you need is a click of a button. Then you can view the calendars and see that the calendars were generated for all three ledgers that are tied to company 110. So setting up NextWorld's cloud financial management solution doesn't have to be a daunting task. The general accounting setup application makes it easy to know what needs to be done and the flexibility of the company structure and chart of accounts ensures that the solution will adapt as your business evolves. Next, we will cover the business functions that can be performed in the product. So as with any ERP financial solution, NextWorld can manage AR processes like customer invoicing, credit memos, and cash receipts. And AP processes such as supplier invoicing, payments, and expense reports. Today, we're going to use the financial portion of the procure to pay process to highlight the powerful workflows in NextWorld and benefits of real-time posting to the GL. So when you go to enter a supplier invoice with a PO number, NextWorld's delivered workflow kicks off an automatic PO matching process in the background. I can show this by transitioning a completed draft invoice to ready to process. You see the PO number here. You'll see it automatically transition to ready to match in this field. 
Then I'll either post if the three or two way match was successful or transition to a match exception status for further investigation. Once posted, you can click the action button to view the PO matching. And in the PO matching view, you'll see the status, the purchase order details, and if it is a three-way match, the receipt details. So not only can workflow kick off automated processes, it can easily be customized by business users to fit your business needs. So going back to a draft supplier invoice, If you recall a few moments ago, I transitioned the workflow directly to ready process. This state is delivered out of the box, but this approval step right here can be added by business users without needing to know how to code. The workflow definition app is where you need to go to add the approval step or any workflow customizations. This is the definition for the supplier invoice application and these lines, lines 12 and 13, are all that needs to be configured to add an approval step. As you can see, Workflow is a very powerful tool in NextWorld. It can kick off automated processes and enables easy customizations by business users. So moving on to payments, NextWorld offers the functionality to make payment batches to pay multiple suppliers at once, but today I'm going to focus on payments to ind individual suppliers. So when you go to create a new payment, once the header information is filled in for your payment, All invoices that are open will appear automatically in the detail lines for the given payee and bank account. So from here, you can select which invoices you want to pay by checking it off. And for partial payments, you can simply adjust the pay amount. The payment is then processed with workflow, just like the supplier invoices. So when making a payment with a check, NextWorld offers automatic check signatures. So when a payment is in the ready to print status and you click the action to print the check, the signature will automatically be there to save your accounting department time. You can specify different signatures based on threshold amounts. So this $259 check has a direct signature. And this $244,000 check has a signature lines for a manual signature. So next over to our general ledger. In NextWorld, transactions from any module are posted to the general ledger in real time. That means there's no downtime to update your GL and every single detail from each transaction is brought into your general ledger, allowing you to inquire about anything at any time in one place. So if you look up, a supplier invoice, Let's just filter on all of the supplier invoices. You'll see the company, the GL account that the transaction is tied to, but you'll also see that other details, such as the supplier and supplier class are brought in as well. Another feature I'd like to highlight in this application is advanced filters. So this feature can be found across a variety of applications in NextWorld and allows you to save filters and even make them global to share them with others. So here I have saved a filter for all of the asset depreciation transactions tied to the US operating ledger in December of 2021. And all of these filter fields are inputted with a single click based on the saved advanced filter. Also, for quick and dirty reporting, you are able to export the results of your filter to a CSV. So for all AR, AP, and GL transactions in NextWorld, the customizable workflow can be configured to fit your needs. Processes are automated to save your organization time, and everything is posted to the GL in real time, providing one single source of truth. So now that we've covered how business data gets into NextWorld, what can you do with it?
We saw with the general ledger application that you can very easily manage and analyze your data through the list views and advanced filtering, which are found in many apps. In each module, there are also a variety of delivered reports that can be run based on the parameters you set. And you can save different versions of the same report with different parameters defined so that the report can be generated with a single click at any time. Beyond the delivered reports, with NextWorld's no-code platform, business users can create their own reports and even customize the delivered ones to best suit their needs. The Report Quick Start is an ad hoc reporting tool that can be accessed through any application. So if you wanted to create a report with the data from your customer invoices, you can do so straight from the customer invoice application. Simply click the action to create Quick Start Report. You will then be redirected to an application that looks similar to the general accounting settings, where you can follow through all the apps in the top bar to build a simple report that fits your needs. You don't need to know how to code to create a report. You simply enter the specifics, such as the report name and title. Then you can add any filters and sort parameters. You can add or delete fields to be included in the report. And lastly, you define the layout for your report. You can define the page layout and the paper size. Then with one click, the report will be generated for your review and you can export it to CSV, Excel, or PDF. For more complex reports, the Report Builder is a visual tool for customizing and creating reports. You can add and define which fields you want to pull in and where on the report they will be. You can change the size, the font, color, and really make the report your own to fit your business needs. So when it comes to reporting in NextWorld, your employees no longer have to describe what they want to see in their reports to someone who will build it in with code in the back end. You can save time and resources by enabling the people who use the reports to configure them to their needs. The last topic we will cover today is period close. NextWorld has delivered applications that help organizations automate period close processes and eliminates the need for managing multiple spreadsheets outside of your ERP. So now let's spend some time on a few of those applications. The proposed Asset Additions app brings in all transactions that involve a fixed asset GL account. For each record, you have the option to create a new asset, add it to an existing asset, or reclass the transaction to the appropriate module. If you determine that the record does represent a new asset, through workflow, a depreciation schedule is automatically created and the record is moved to the fixed asset module. Once all proposed asset addition records have been reviewed, the post depreciation app can create depreciation entries for all of the assets associated with a specified company in a specific period, all with a single click. Similarly, the Amortization Schedules app brings in prepaid transactions as proposals and creates an amortization schedule once you enter details and transition the workflow. In the same app, you can create all of the amortization entries for the amortizing records at once. Lastly, the GL Allocations app automates the expense allocation process. Based on defined rules, NextWorld will calculate your allocations and create the redistributed entries. All of these applications and many other period close related apps can be accessed from the period close checklist. So in this application, you can create and manage a checklist for each period. So let's go into the in progress checklist for September 2021 month end. So in this app, you can access all the related period and applications with one click. It will take you directly to the other application. Here is the overview look of the period close progress, percentage complete, completed hours, and total hours. And this is all based on the below lines. Each individual task has its own workflow and it is fully customizable as well. You can add a new status. You can add any customizations to the existing statuses. And the list view shows you where you need to spend your time, what has been started, what hasn't, and what needs more attention. It shows who's responsible, the due date, and the estimated hours. 
So with all these features, NextWorld's cloud financial management solution can help you reduce the time and effort needed for period and close. This can improve the speed and accuracy of your organization's internal decision making and boost external market confidence. And that concludes the overview video. I hope you were able to see how your organization may be able to save time and resources with NextWorld's cloud financial management solution. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.isp3.ca. Thank you for watching.